Have you, like me, been wondering what kind of game you should live stream and when you should do it? Well, if that's the case with you, maybe I have found a solution for you and it's called Twitch Strike. Hello people and very much welcome to my channel. Today we're taking a look into Twitch Strike. Maybe something you already know about, if not, maybe this can help you out a bit. This is a website that has been designed and aggregates data from every directory and let you know things like how many people that are streaming, what the ratio is when it comes to viewers to channels, and how many viewers that are in the top 5% of channels and what the trends are over the past weeks. As you can see, I'm scrolling down here so you get a kind of look into it. Uh, I have just started to use this and let me know what you think guys if you have already been using it for some time in the comment section. There are also some guides here that we will take a look into. We have reviews and there's also forums. As you see what I'm doing here I am checking out right now due to this hour what not to stream on Twitch. Here you got the data, we have channels so many that are actually streaming the game. You saw I went into Witcher 3 as an example. You can change the time zone here uh, for your liking where you live. You can see how many viewers that are live streaming right now. Uh, the most popular um, time to do it and of course the day. And also you have these kind of heat maps that will give you uh, some more detailed information uh, hour by hour. I have found out so far that this might be an interesting tool, especially if you are a smaller streamer and you are considering what game you should live stream. Because it's very easy to just hop on a trend and play a very saturated game. And of course it's very important to play a game that you would like to play, that's important. But remember guys that it can be a game very saturated and it can therefore be very hard to, to be heard and seen on, for example, Twitch or YouTube. Uh, as you see here, I am actually checking out what games you can or should stream according to at least Twitch Strike. And I just looking into an old game called An Age of Empires 2. I actually played, I think the first game far back, way back, quite some. Uh, as you can see right now this hour, we have 14 channels live streaming the game. So we're going down and checking out the same kind of system we mentioned before with the heat maps, how many channels that are actually live streaming the game. And I wanted to say that I have been reading also a bit like on Reddit, for example, what people think about this. And, and most people are positive when it comes to Twitch Strike. Uh, although I've seen a few voices saying that, you know, it might feel very automated and maybe without context and so forth. Uh, meaning sometimes it yells weird results and weird times. But for me, this seems to be like a useful tool that again can give you good hints on what you should or can stream at a certain time uh, due to your streaming schedule. Or maybe you even want to change it if you find the data for your game, so to speak. Of course, you can also find a game. And just as an example, I'm actually just writing in Resident Evil 7 here just to pick a game. And, and so you can do that. Just find your game that you would like to play and you can check out the data. Sometimes the game might not be found and maybe that's due to the fact that it's too uh, new or something But you will see that for yourself If you enjoyed this give me a thumb up and also let me know what you get what you think about this If it's something that you're using or would like to use I will leave the link in the description to twitch strike so you can check it out yourself. Take care. Bye. Bye Thanks a lot for watching and if you're subscribed to my channel or if you're a new subscriber don't forget to turn on the notification bell and also put on all notification if you want to see when I upload a new video or if I go live meaning live streaming. That's the system on YouTube nowadays so please do that. Thanks for watching again. Bye bye.